Hello guys, welcome to the channel, Talking with Jake Spring. On today's video, I got a review for you coming up. It is a Netflix review for the film Murder Mystery. I'm going to go through it, give it the good, the bad ones, and everything in between. Don't forget to leave your ratings and thoughts on this movie down below in that comment section, of course. But without further ado, guys, let's jump straight into it. Murder Mystery. This is a Netflix movie which came out this year in 2019. It's an action comedy crime movie around 1 hour and 37 minutes long. It's a story about a New York cop and his wife go on a European vacation to reinvigorate their spark in their marriage, but ends up getting framed and on the run for the death of an elderly billionaire. Let's jump straight into the good points. Now the good points about this movie is I generally was anticipating this movie when I f see the first trailer and heard about this movie. Did I enjoy this movie? Yes I did. The movie had some good comedy and some great humorous dialogue throughout the whole movie. It wasn't too over the top like some of Adam Sandler's other movies. The plot of the movie was very interesting and also it was quite unique for the cast because I've not seen most of this cast in a movie like this before, especially Adam Sandler. I wouldn't expect him to be in like a whole murder mystery sort of movie. The plot has been done before but the way they dealt with it was very good. Filmmaking side of the movie was great, some really good camera work, some nice editing which made it flow very well, even some of the music was good. The movie had some action in it as well which stood out quite well and was quite enjoyable as well. The movie had some quite unpredictable twists as well, which was quite enjoyable. But in the movie, you have a great cast with some good performances. Now, Adam Sandler obviously being the main man in this movie, the main question mark over him. I feel like he had a good performance. I feel like he worked well with the other characters, the other cast members. I feel like his role in the movie, he played a cop. And obviously, there was a whole question mark over his character in the movie. Uh, and that's between his relationship, between him and other people, and the way he dealt with things and stuff like that. It was just a good character, a normal lead character. Then alongside him, we have Jennifer. For Aniston, probably the best performance of the movie, in my honest opinion. I thought she's great. She gives something different in this movie, and really, I normally Adam Sandler tries to be the main comedy part. I feel like Aniston was the more funnier out of the two. Also, she offers that seriousness where she's been in some really good movies in the past, and she gives something, some sort of experience in this type of movie. Now the relationship between these two, the chemistry really shows and it was absolutely amazing. One of the key things of the movie for sure. Now they really feel like a real couple. They act like they're a real couple as well. They really just give an excellent performance together. Now Luke Evans was in this movie and he was great in this movie. He's one of my favourite actors. He reminded me of his role in Beauty and the Beast if you've seen the remake of that. He's sort of like that charmer type figure and I feel it was excellent throughout the movie alongside them two main actors as well. Another good thing for me is David Williams, a British actor, novelist, and a judge on Britain's Got Talent as well, actually showed up, was quite surprising, and I was actually surprised with how good he took on the role he was given in this movie. Now on to the bad points. Now the bad points about this movie are quite obvious to, to be honest with you. The story can be a little bit predictable at times. Obviously you get them shocks but it can be quite predictable at times for some people as well. And some of the characters, side characters mainly are not flushed out to what they should be. And some people show up in roles which really they deserve better. You feel like they are a great actor. They deserve to be one of the mains or re a, a side character that's got a key role in the movie. And not only that, the third act of the movie can be quite questionable as well. The way they deal with it, some people might find it irritating. For me, I, I did enjoy it still overall. Well, guys, it's rating time. Let's have a look what the critics had to rate this movie. We have IMDb giving it a 6 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes giving it a 46%. And Metacritic giving it a 38. My rating for this movie is... A 7 out of 10. That makes this a good movie. So overall, guys, this movie was a fun and entertaining movie. It has its hilarious moments, a decent storyline, which can be interesting. If you like that type of murder mysteries type story, Adam Sandler's best performance in a while for sure. Jennifer Aniston, a great performance as well. The chemistry between them, as mentioned, but not only not on the level, obviously, of his past, his original movies like Waterboy, Big Daddy, or Wedding Singer, and stuff like that. Don't expect that sort of level, but it's still an enjoyable movie. Not perfect, but check it out, guys. I think you might enjoy this one. 
Guys, a 7 out of 10 for this movie. Don't forget to leave your ratings and thoughts down below in the comment section, of course. And if you enjoyed this video, simply smash that thumbs up. Let us know you're enjoying the content I'm giving you. It also, shares the video around for other people to enjoy as well. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell for much more movies and TV series action. Don't want you guys to miss the stuff we've got coming up on the channel, as well as the stuff already on the channel. And when you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I upload. That is a crucial thing for this channel. And the subscribers, we're on the road to 300 subscribers. So if you can join me and help the channel, I'll be mega, mega grateful, of course. So without further ado, guys, I've been me, you've been you, and I'll see you next time, guys, on Talking with Jay Springer.